The first van loads of visitors this is amazing. are getting their look inside a small South Irving home that earned a place in history. It was certainly the world came to our door. The story is long, but the simple version goes like this. Go back 50 years. Ruth Payne lived here and invited a friend to stay over. That friend was married to Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald was living here when, according to investigators, he killed President John F. Kennedy. The story we're trying to tell here is how just a simple suburban housewife, through some acts of goodwill towards another person, got thrust into the national spotlight. The city of Irving bought the home and converted it into the Ruth Payne House Museum. Walking through the home, guests at this pre-opening reception immediately noticed the 1960s era furnishings. We came from the same generation, I think. Charlene Huggins is struck by what she is seeing. It's kind of chilling. It uh, brings back a lot of memories of that era. And uh, I remember the day exactly when it happened. Oh, I thought it was amazing. I was really surprised because as a kid, I played in that house. Patrice Foster's family was friends with the Paines. I played with the kids. I even met Lee. You met Lee? Yes. <laughs> Your impressions? Oh, well, he was, she always just said, stay away from Lee, don't disturb him. So we just, you know, we were kids. We were just running around the house. To get the home back to the way it looked in 1963, city employees studied photos. Check out the curtains in this Payne family photo. The city found the exact fabric to remake them. And this photo of the kitchen helped them duplicate many of the details in there. And the guy said, hey, I can make something that will look like that washing machine. I tell you, when I saw that picture, the first time I saw the washing machine, it brought me a smile. Oh, yeah. It really yeah. looks convincing. I probably asked Ruth Payne 10,000 questions about uh, what color was the carpet, what color were the walls, what did the sink look like. I'm asking her these things 50 years later, but she was a good sport and had a good memory too. They did an amazing job on the shoestring budget. They did, yeah. They, they made the couch. They built <laughs> they the couch. They made the couch. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. It all comes together to tell a story of contrasts. A busy mother raising kids while suddenly finding herself in one of the news events of the century. In relation to the assassination, I think this house really does tell a story. And I, you know, I was nervous about coming and well, how will it be done? But it seems to be it been done very well. The first stop for guests is actually here at the visitor center on the third floor of the Central Library. People can watch vintage news reports, hear residents' recollections, and more. Because the house is in a residential neighborhood, we don't want people just driving to the house. So you'll come here to the visitor center, get some background information, and then you will go downstairs, get into a van, and drive over to the house. Our shared life of dishes and diapers was an idyllic respite from Once at the house, visitors can take in video recreations in two rooms and the garage, where investigators say Oswald got the gun he used. When police tried to question all people working at the Texas School Book Depository that morning, Lee Oswald was no longer present. Those are the real words and the real stories of the real people. I love the technology that they're using, you know, with the glass and the, the we, I love that. I love the stories that they're telling in each different room. I, I think it, they did a wonderful job. So this would be Ruth's room and where she slept. For group visits, guides will also explain some of the details that might be missed on an initial walkthrough. This is the room that Lee Harvey slept in the night before. And uh, the little cup on the dresser is supposedly where he left his wedding ring in there when he left in the morning. The organization Preservation Dallas is working to get this home on the National Register of Historic Places. So we have every reason to believe it will go through, but we, we don't have that officially yet. I think we're going to see a lot of people come to Irving as part of this and visit. Uh, I can tell you that we've already been getting calls from all over the United States. From the complicated conspiracy theories to the tough tasks of motherhood, this home tells the story of Ruth Payne's time in Irving a story she is happy to share. It was important for the country to have whatever information I could provide um, because I had seen Lee in an informal setting for those two months just prior to the assassination. And, um, you know, I wanted, wanted, 
wanted people to know what happened.